what is up everyone and welcome back to another video and today we are here to react to nook's top 5 again part 2 so let's leave a like on this video and as you can see i'm subscribed if you want to check out their channel i'll leave this i'll leave I'll leave ko yung link nila below sa description kung gusto nyo yung i-check. So make sure na mag-subscribe kayo and leave a like to see more videos. So let's get started. Top 5 scary ghost videos to freak you out. I hope this video will freak me out. Top 5 Ghosts Caught on Camera Final Entry Paranormal investigators Jordan and Johnny from the YouTube channel Paranormies are contacted by an anonymous viewer named Richard. Richard explains that he found a mysterious old journal in his attic six months ago, and almost immediately very odd things begin to happen around his rural farm home in Manitoba, Canada. Richard says he has no idea who the journal could have belonged to but he believes that the notebook might have belonged to a mentally disturbed war veteran as it describes in detail how the man has taken lives in the war. In an attempt to find answers to the unexplained activity in his home, Richard sets up several static cameras. He is shocked by what he captures. By the way, this video was posted two days ago, so... Oh shit! When the Paranormies team receives Richard's videos, they are eager to make plans to investigate his home. Richard agrees to let the paranormal investigators stay at his home for the next two nights. He gives Jordan and Johnny the strange journal and then leaves for two days. That night, the paranormies sit down at the table in the kitchen and ask the unknown spirit to move a stack of cards. What happens next shocks them. If there's anything, can you move these cards? Just do something. Like all you gotta do is just go like. I just do something with the cards. Okay. Oh, I freaked oh. the out of me. What yeah, now it? it's level. Now level? It, now it's starting to say stuff. A chair slides across the living room floor right in front of their eyes. So Jordan decides to do a sensory deprivation session and covers his eyes and ears as he listens to answers coming only through their spirit box. Meanwhile, Johnny asks whoever might be haunting the home to give them a sign. And he gets one. Let us know you're here. Ooh. Thank you. Oh, my hands are shaking. Dude, that house is haunted. Jordan. The cabinet is open, man. Oh you man. K2 meter to it and nothing happened. What? Okay, what happened? The, uh, I was standing here and I was filming and then it just opened up. Last day. Let us know you're here. Thank you. Oh my hands are shaking. Just as the homeowner Richard experienced, a kitchen cabinet door suddenly flings open on its own. The two friends decide to set up a static camera in the kitchen and leave two motion activated dolls and a oh piano mat God, in the dog. rooms downstairs. Then I they head dogs. up to the second floor to investigate Richard's bedroom. This room is right below the attic where the creepy journal was found. What happens next is downright chilling. Reason? Reason? Reason. Did you have, what reason did you have? Love's 
stand up. No way. Oh, holy It just flipped the light on. Isn't it kind of strange that... Whoa. Isn't it kind of strange that... Whoa. Isn't it kind of strange that... Whoa. The upstairs light turns on by itself and the team hears the piano mat playing a few tunes on its own downstairs. They have no idea that their static camera down below just captured a dark mass moving through the kitchen right where the piano mat is. Now no one was downstairs and the guys have no explanation for this creepy dark shadow figure. Could it be the owner of the journal that was found in the attic? Is Richard's home truly haunted or is something else very strange going on here? I highly recommend that you watch Paranormies two-part series over on their channel because there are even more strange and terrifying moments caught on camera at Richard's farm. Is that firewood? Oh my god! If you see a video that you think would be perfect for the top five or if you have a ghost hunting channel and you caught something great, contact me at nukestop5 at gmail.com. Something wicked. Popular Japanese ghost hunters Gachan, Yasuke, and Daichan from the YouTube channel Clip Store travel to what is known to be an extremely haunted location in Hiroshima Prefecture, Japan. Hidden in the mountains here, there's a mysterious tall western style ruin that sort of looks like a medieval castle. No one knows why this odd structure was built, or why it ended up being completely abandoned. Locals and curious visitors tell strange stories about the ghost of a woman wearing a dark cape. They claim that the dark figure looks like a witch. The Clip Store team begin their investigation outside, completely in awe of the strange western style exterior. That's when cameraman Dai Chan notices something truly bizarre. It's a little hard to see, but Daichan's camera barely captures what appears to be someone quickly moving away from the edge of the roof, almost as if someone or something is watching them from above. The team splits up as they each investigate one of the three floors inside the abandoned structure. Investigator Yasuke finds an old TV on the second floor and sits down to listen and wait just to see if he experiences anything remotely paranormal. What happens next is absolutely terrifying. Yasuke claims that something pushed hard against his shoulder, knocking him backwards and nearly making him fall. He runs up to the staircase and yells to his team members. Ooh. And to his horror, he sees something lurking over yeah, Daichan's shoulder is. up on the top floor. Yasuke screams to warn him, but whatever it is has just disappeared into thin Ooh. air. Could this be the spirit of the woman that locals claim to have been seen inside the abandoned building? Did the ghost hunters capture evidence of the paranormal? Let me know what you think. You can watch this entire video over on the Japanese YouTube channel, Clip Store. Then there's a creepy doll. 
Uh, no, Jim Priscilla no. and his wife Emma decide to go on a trip to Savannah, Georgia for the weekend and stay at the allegedly haunted 1790 Inn. The old hotel dates back to, you guessed it, 1790. And it's had thousands of guests and many ghost stories over the years. One of the spirits that is said to haunt the inn is that of young Emma, a bride of an arranged marriage who fell deeply in love with a sailor on leave from his ship. Emma is said to have tragically passed away after a very mysterious fall from the third floor window. Another ghost that people believe to haunt the old inn is that of a little boy named Thaddeus. Now not much is known about Thaddeus other than that he seems to have a fascination for pennies, which he leaves lying around throughout the hotel. So Jim Priscina and his wife begin to hear strange sounds in their hotel room and Jim decides to leave a static camera up and recording during the night as they sleep. When the couple reviews the captured footage, they are shocked. Another night and the couple is again fast asleep when just outside their room, a small doll belonging to the hotel becomes an object of pure terror. The doll slowly moves its little head forward, defying both logic and gravity. Even creepier, after the doll seems to take a look around, it then moves its head back, returning to its resting state. Some say that if you watch the doll's face closely, you can even see its eyes seem to come alive. Jim and his wife believed that they captured Getting true paranormal kids. evidence during their stay at the Haunted Inn in Savannah, Georgia. But what do you think? Paranormal or not? I leave it to you to decide. Meanwhile, on TikTok. Now this next video is a bit of a mystery. It was posted to Reddit but quickly deleted. The original is said to have come from TikTok and I've tried to find the original source on this video but I just didn't have any luck. I have no idea who the people in the video are, or even what the location is for that matter. All I know is that the video pretty much speaks for itself, and it's definitely very strange. ¿Qué se te perdió? ¿Nos quieres hacer daño? ¿Nos quieres hacer más daño? Lárgate. Lárgate. Mira, sí, qué fue. Para que no me digas que no hay fantasmas, Te ordeno que te vayas de mi casa. Te ordeno que te vayas de mi casa. Ay, me siento lindo. Uy, qué fue. Creo que se va a ser bien, ¿no? O para que no me digas que no hay fantasmas en mi casa. Es un dueño. Ay, así tan lindo. ¿Qué quieres? No te tengo miedo. No te tengo miedo. No te tengo miedo. ¿Qué quieres? Mira, ven, 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 ven. ¿Qué quieres? ¿Qué quieres? 
a dark shadow-like mass seems to manifest in the corner of an empty room, and then just as quickly disappears into thin air, only to reappear again milliseconds later. The unexplained shadow continues to do this disappearing act as a very angry lady just kind of screams at it and then suddenly kicks it. Now I have no idea what happens next, but whatever that black mass is, this angry woman ain't having it. It follows. So over a year ago I featured the story of Nick Zamino who at the time shared his horrifying paranormal experiences on TikTok. Nick says that his home has always been somewhat haunted. And one day he found a strange bag hidden in the wall of his house that contained old 1960s patient IDs. Even creepier, the patient IDs belonged to former residents of the Kings Park Psychiatric Hospital near Nick's home in Long Island, New York. After Nick found these old patient IDs, the paranormal activity in his house just seemed to intensify. Okay guys, the lights just started flickering again. This creaked open and I've been trying to see what the heck is going on. It's literally insane and I keep hearing things all the time. Like what? What is it? This is, oh my God, what is going on? The sink is on. I literally hear the sink. What is going on? What is this? Hello? Now what makes Nick's story very unique is the fact that he's not alone in experiencing these frightening paranormal events. Not only has his family witnessed this strange supernatural activity, but Nick works at a local frozen yogurt shop, and most of his co-workers have also experienced bizarre events that they simply cannot explain. Like, this is not a joke. Oh my god. This is, this is what we're dealing with. Oh my god, yo, what the f***? Bro, Nick, did you f***ing do this on purpose? You I, you f***ing fake ass. I, no, I'm gonna be the out of here, Nick. Stop, you're literally. Are you? No, wait, no. 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 No so Nick has been pretty quiet on social media. Thankfully, Nick says that things are finally getting a bit better, but he says that the paranormal activity just never stopped. One night, Nick is at work with his coworker as they prepare to close the store. Strange things start to happen oh, once again. Okay, guys, oh, Indian store. <laughs> We're gonna mess with the ghost tonight. I just wanted to update my TikTok and Instagram people. So I just started TikTok again. We're gonna do some like, I don't know. I don't want to call it summoning, but we're gonna see what we can do tonight and mess with some ghosties. Yes! Some ghosties manifesting. We're gonna have an experience. Why are you so excited? Strong. Yeah. So this has been going on for the last 15 minutes. We were talking to the spirit. And I guess we gave it too much energy and now things are getting worse. She thinks I'm somehow messing with her, but we are so behind on closing. Like we have to still clean so much stuff. No. And they just won't stop. Like the spirits won't give us a break right now. Okay, let's go. Yeah, I'm, I'm literally out of breath. I'm so, so nervous right now. Okay, so this is what we deal with here at Swirls. It's currently 11.18. And we're still not full. And okay, there is a sound right there, and I guarantee I just saw a shadow. I hope I caught that. See? I don't get it. Is there a reason that you're doing this right now? Right? Yeah, this is our main panel. 
Okay, it stopped. Okay, okay, chill, chill. Okay, so this is what I... <gasps> no way. Bro, like, I just caught that literally right in front of me. I literally just caught that in front of me. No one is here. Okay, 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 come to the front, come to the front now. Come on. Yeah, you. Okay. Just get out. See, this is what I don't like. I hear footsteps from the attic right now. I'm literally still hearing it. A shadow where? What's going on? Okay, now music's on. Oh my god. Nicole, come here. This is... Understand this. I really don't. Oh my god. 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 Bro, just get out. Okay, we need to get the lights on. Please come with me. Please come with me. Please go to the switch. Go to the main panel. Just go to the main panel. Okay, turn them on. Turn them on. There are flickering lights, unexplained sounds, objects falling, and music that turns on completely on its own. But later, when Nick looks back at the footage, he discovers something even more disturbing. When he pans his phone to look at the security camera live feed, a white translucent figure can be seen moving behind the store's front counter. Nick says that he has no idea who or what this could be. He says he's a bit spooked by the whole experience, but he plans to continue filming his supernatural encounters. To watch all of Nick's creepy experiences, you can find him on his TikTok page and YouTube channel, Nick Semino 68 Almost a year ago now, I featured the story of TikTok user Bailey Burcham, who works as an operations manager at the allegedly haunted Pasadena Theater in California. The theater was opened back in 1924 by a man named Gilmore Brown. Brown died in the 1960s, but it is said that his ghost still roams the theater to this day. Another spirit that is said to haunt the theater is that of a weeping woman who goes by the name Lenore. Some visitors claim to have seen her, and many have heard her distressing sobs echoing throughout the dark theater. One night when Bailey is completely alone in the empty building, he captures something downright chilling. Alright guys, so I work at this uh, old theater and I've been hearing a noise. It's a really beautiful theater, as you can see, if you can see it at all. But I keep hearing a noise in here, and there's not supposed to be anybody here, so just double checking. But I wanted to film it just in case. There's the ghost light. It's a light we keep on for ghosts, <laughs> for people who still remain here and whatnot. And, um, what the f? What, the what is that? What is that? Oh my god, what the hell is Shocked that? TikTok viewers believe the apparition standing on the theater's old private balcony to be the ghost of the theater's founder, Gilmore Brown. Now almost a year has passed since that video, and operations manager Bailey was never able to capture anything like this again. That is, until one night when the theater's alarm is triggered and Bailey sets out to investigate. He records what he describes as, quote, the, the scariest thing that has ever happened to me. What's up, y'all? As always, if the sensor gets tripped, I film it, just in case we see anything. So here we go. It's uh, 9 p.m. on a Saturday. This is my life. So I'm walking through the main stage. <clears throat> here, I'll flip it. Ghost light is on. Oh, God. No 
anyone in here? Hello? Okay. A man and woman almost seemed to materialize from the haze, standing in the upper balcony. They seemed to be staring down toward the stage, watching Bailey. Now some TikTok viewers wondered why Bailey would cut his video instead of showing what happens next. In another video, he explains. Okay, let's answer some questions. First off, thank you for checking in. I am safe. Nothing happened to me. Secondly, the reason that that video cuts off is because I shut it off. The second that I noticed something up there, it took me a second, I started to zoom. The second that I noticed figures up there, I shut it off and walked out. We went into search, we didn't find anybody. But if someone snuck in, they definitely didn't leave any evidence of it, and they got out quick without me noticing. So, I don't have an explanation for this. I'm sure there is one. I'm not a ghost hunter. I don't know what I'm doing. I just work here. So did Bailey capture the ghosts of founder Gilmore Brown and the crying lady Lenore? Let me know what you think. The house where no one lives. Right, the last... Carl and Nancy from the YouTube channel Hunting the Haunted oh my are investigating. God, my camera. Someone gonna fix it. All right. I hope it will not turn off again. Getting a long abandoned house in the middle of the this woods in Titusville, down. Florida. According to neighbors, the house is so haunted that no one will live there. The home has sat empty for over 40 years. As the husband and wife investigative team are exploring the house, Nancy picks up something very odd on a thermal imaging camera. A very cold spot in the middle of the room that almost resembles a face, but then quickly disappears and things just get creepier. Lock the door. Good thing we're investigating with data. Carl heads to the car to retrieve a flashlight and Nancy says, lock the door. But some other strange male voice seems to answer back, whispering, yeah, from somewhere nearby. But Nancy didn't hear this voice at the time, only when the clip was played back later. Now Hunting the Haunted ended their investigation soon after this and a few days later, they uploaded the footage to their YouTube channel. But they were shocked when their subscribers watching the video spotted something truly bizarre. Something that Carl and Nancy had completely missed. I think something's upstairs. Look at that, I'm getting activity. Look at that guys. Oh, oh my God. Did you see it? There. Just as Carl's EMF meter is picking up a Someone's signal and acting strangely, he seems Someone's to capture a bizarre the shadow figure in the reflection of the window yeah. in the room. Now, this couldn't be Carl, as the angle is just all wrong. Also, Carl is turning his head and body as he films, but the shadowy figure just stays in the same position. So just what did Hunting the Haunted catch in this allegedly very haunted house? You decide. Check out more creepy paranormal investigations over on their YouTube channel, Hunting the Haunted. All right. Thanks so much for watching. Oh, come on. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. Make sure you subscribe, leave a like, subscribe, turn, off the no turn on the notification. Bye-bye. Peace.